<laughs> what do you think? Take a picture. Whoa. Number 87 Romeo Delta clear direct Robbinsville. Uh, direct Robbinsville, 87 Romeo Delta, but I wasn't given any change in the flight plan. Okay, I'm showing you how Victor 1 to Dixie, Victor 276 Robbinsville, Victor 249 Sparta, Victor 39 Breezy to White Plains. No, I wasn't given that. I had direct uh, Kennedy. Victor 1 to Kennedy, direct. Okay, no, that's not the routing that you should have. The routing you should have would be Victor 1, actually direct Robbinsville, which is Romeo Bravo Victor. Victor 249 to Sparta, which is Sierra Alpha X-ray. Victor 39 to the Breezy intersection, direct White Plains, to maintain 5,000. Okay, it's from Romeo Delta, direct Robinsville, Victor 249, uh, Sparta, Victor 39, Breezy, direct, maintain 5,000, it's from Romeo Delta. Number 87 Romeo Delta, that's correct, direct Robinsville, when you're able now, and then you can the contact McGuire on 124.15. Yeah. There's the banner to right in front of us. McGuire, 124.15, 87 Romeo Delta, thank you. Thank you. Trump. Victor 1 and 2, can you maintain at or below 2,000 just for an aircraft over flying at 2,500 BFR? Bouncer 2, roger. Thank you. Bouncer 1, roger. The bay I was telling you about, see on the right of that? Yeah. The other side of the rebel? Give me one second. Like a storm private. Atlanta City Approach Control, this is Medivac 3 over. Medivac 3, Atlanta City. Medivac 3 is about 20 miles to the uh, west, northwest. Two, uh, correction, 1,900. Enroute to Shore Memorial Hospital. Company squawk over. Medivac 3, Ident. Medivac 3 is Ident. Medivac 3, radar contact 3 miles south of the Cedar Lake VOR Atlantic City, Altamir 3020, say altitude. Medivac 3 is indicating uh, 1,900 over. Medivac 3, Roger, you can proceed down to uh, Shore Medical. Medivac 3. Atlantic City approach, Diamond Star 681, Delta Sierra. November 1, Delta Sierra, Atlantic City. That's Diamond Star 1 Delta Sierra, about a mile west of Ocean City, 1,300 feet. I'd like to request VFR following to Flying W, November 1-4. We have an IFR on file, but uh, we're not going to pick it up. Diamond Star 1 Delta Sierra, Roger, Squawk 0106 and IDENT. 0106 IDENT, is that same guy on? One Delta Sierra radar concept two miles to the northwest of the Ocean City Airport, Atlantic City, Altima 3020. What altitude are you climbing to? 3020, we're going to be going to 3000 feet, one Delta Sierra. Thank you. November 4th, we're Mike Juliet again. Just use caution along the coast, numerous targets indicating 1,000 feet and below. Uh, fourth, we're Mike Juliet, we've got all the traffic in sight. Okay. Atlantic City approach, Atlantic City, out to me, 3020.
That's the bay I was telling you right there. Yeah. These houses are like separate. Bouncer 1 and 2, you have the block back up to 2,500. 1,000 to 2,500. And Bouncer 1 and 2 copies 1,000 to departure. 0415 Tango Lima. November 415 Tango Lima, links of departure radar contact. Um, climb to 2,200 on course is approved. 2,200 on course, 5 Tango Lima. Atlantic City, 43 Mike Julia. 43 Mike Julia at Atlantic City. Yes, ma'am, request uh, back up to uh, 3,000 or above and back to November 1-4, correct? Right? November 43 Mike Julia, you can climb on course and just let me know what altitude you're leveling off at. 43 Mike Julia, Roger Willis, we'll go. View of Atlantic City you'll ever have, huh? <laughs> Beautiful. Came on 4361, descend to maintain 4000. Uh, descend to 4000, came on 4361. November 415, Tango Lima, what's your destination? Delta Mike Whiskey, my 425, Tango Lima. Thank you. There is VFR traffic off your right side, 1 to 2 o'clock, 4 miles, opposite direction, indicating 1,200. Enter back 3, looking for the traffic. Uh, okay, tally hold the traffic. Enter back 3, roger. Piedmont 4361, contact Philadelphia, Barge 127.35. Uh, 2735, 4361. Street 4790, contact Philadelphia, approach 133.87. Have a good night. 3387, Blue Street 4790, we'll see you. What were you doing before when you were pulling this up? Flaps. Gives you more lift at slow speeds. X-ray contact Philadelphia, Birch 127.35. Have a good flight. 127.35. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Medevac 3, do you have the hospital in sight? Medevac 3, radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. Atlantic Sea surface winds are out of the south. 180 at 10. Medevac 3.
Atlantic City, 43 Mike Juliet, level at 3000. Delta 43 Mike Juliet, roger. Now, when they assign you an altitude, say 3,000, yeah. you have to stay within 200 feet above or below that altitude. Lake City, keep on 4169, we're at 6. Preferably right on the number, uh, right at 3,000. Keep on 4169, Lake City, approach Atlantic City, altimeter 3020, maintain 5,000. All right, we got the pump on, and we're going to switch from the left tank to the right tank, just because. Fuel pressure is still up, and we're good on the left, on the right tank. Right one. Yeah, you don't go by these gauges. They're very un un uh, un. They're not very um, accurate. Accurate, yeah. You go with your eyes, and you go with the clock. I figure we just went down there, so we're more a little more than halfway there. So that tank's probably at about half. We'll switch over. Number three, Quebec Golf One for two. Just to be on the safe three, side. Quebec Golf Atlantic Departure, one. radar contact, climb and maintain 4,000. 4,000, three, Quebec Golf. And approach bouncer one and two. We are trained for fleet. I'd like to uh, proceed to inbound for the Coast Guard ramp. Bouncer one and two, Roger, you can see the map for the Coast Guard ramp. You know bouncer one and two is? There it again. I heard him say bouncer one and two. Yeah. What does a bouncer do? At a club. Oh. Okay, right, two two zero and up to six thousand three. Six people out. Yeah. Bouncer one and two. Flight at two F sixteen. Fighting Falcons. On patrol. That's what they call them. Yep. When you cross this line out here, see this line around Hebron? U.S. contiguous. This line? Yeah. If you cross that line without permission, and in prior permission, you get one radio call and it goes like this. Unknown rider, unknown rider, this is monster killer. One time. The next time, the next time you see or hear anybody, there'll be an F-16 off your wing there, and there's one behind you with a missile lock on you. The approach to is four and five. And they will shoot. It says it right in the TFRs that they will use deadly force if necessary. Approach diamond star one Delta Sierra. We're descending to one and two contact the tower one two zero point three. Bouncer one and two contact the tower one two zero point three. Again. November 1, Delta Sierra is leaving right to the north. Radar services terminated. Squawk VFR frequency change approved. Suggest to McGuire 124.15 for further advisory. Roger, Squawk VFR, one Delta Sierra. Bouncer 1 and 2, contact the tower 120.3. Bouncer 1 and 2. <laughs> Piedmont 4169, contact Philadelphia, approach 127.35. 2735 for Piedmont 4169, we'll see you. November 415, Tango uh, Lima is leave Meyer to the west. Radar services terminated. This flow of B5 frequency change proof. Where's the knot? Advisory suggests Philadelphia on 127.35. I'm saying a good day, thanks for help. Forty-two 
November 4 3, Mike Julia, contact the McGuire, approach 124.15. 24.15 for 43 Mike Julia. Thank you. Good day. Atlantic City, Archer 41, Juliet Alpha with you at 4000. November 41, Juliet Alpha, Atlantic City, Arch Atlantic City, Altimeter 3020. 3020, Juliet Alpha. Greenway base, runway 24, Liquid. Liquid traffic, Skyhawk is on final for runway 24, Liquid. McGuire approach, 4-3, Mike Juliet. Number 4-3, Mike Juliet, McGuire approach, Rod Junior, 3016, say destination and type aircraft. Uh, Piper Warrior, November 4-3, Mike Juliet, uh, we're at 3,000. Uh, I thought we had the handover from Atlantic City, apparently not. Uh, en route, direct uh, to November 1-4. Roger, you did have the handoff, they just didn't tell us where you were going. Oh, I'm sorry. A uh, very good note. Direct to November 1-4. Roger. Zero 05, Mike Papa, just going to maintain 2,000. Mike Papa down to 2,000. Number 05, Mike Papa, report South Jersey in sight. I will do. Think there, bubble boy. It actually came out to be a nice day, nice and cool. It wasn't yeah. real hot, you know. Come out nice. Why don't you take the yoke? It clear it up. Take the yoke. Got it. All right. Now listen. I want you to keep her level. Okay. All right. You don't need to. You want to keep it. Look at the horizon. All right. Watch, watch the horizon for a minute out at the top of the window. Okay. Okay. Now, are we going up or are we going down? Going up. All right, so you know that's going up. If you see too much grass, you're right. going down. Okay? Look out the window to your right. Okay. You see how we're going pretty much level right now? Right. Look out the window. Let me have the airplane for one second. Okay. See the, uh, the, the, the horizon line on the, on the wing? Right, right. If you just see that, then you're banking to the left. Okay. If you see that, you're banking to the right. right. So you don't even have to really see these instruments to, to, to fly straight and level. So you're going to keep a course of, I'm going to get back on course for you because we were turning. It's kind of like, you, know, you want to stay on course. Tough because the wind is changing a little bit. Right. So the more you change direction, the yeah, wind's, five, 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 the wind's yeah, coming uh, at you uh, from a different direction. Okay, so your airplane, take the, the controls. Try to keep the wings level. You're, you're going like this. So go back this way. Turn to the left. Turn left. Turn, turn left some more. Okay, your nose is going up a little bit, right? Yeah. So keep that, push that down. Actually, you can kind of keep it climbing a little bit. Back up to 3,000. That's good, just like that. A little to the left. Keep going left. Turn left. Now put your nose down a little bit, Renee. Push down. Push forward. Push forward. Hold that there. Turn left. See how we're going like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Turning. Bank left. Yeah, bank left. Or? Yep. Keep going over that way. Uh, All right, now get push forward. Push forward. Renee, push forward. There you go. There you go. Now you're banking right again, see? You want to come left. Why are you going like this? Hard. Watch. I'm uh, handing off. Exodus 545, uh, say again, please. Two fingers. Put it on your knee. Hold it with just two fingers. Relax. Okay, 
hold it, you hold it level. You're, 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 we have a tendency, the wind's hitting us on the left. All right. So you have a little bit of a tendency to get the wing pushed up because the wind, the wind will get underneath the wing. All right. All right, so, you know, just bear that in mind and put a little bit more pressure, you know, hang your hand on it a little bit like that. Good there. You're banking to the left now, so a little bit less. All right, now you're climbing, so let's let's do this. Let's descend. At our, see this right here? This is your okay. rate of descent. Let's descend at 300 feet per minute. One, two, three. Okay. Keep it level, nice and level. At 300 feet descent until we get down to 2,500. So you're gonna go for about about two minutes. Now keep this, keep this at, keep this down. You're going up. You're going up. See this right here? Nope. All right. You want to keep that at about three marks below the zero. Go down. Yep. You're gonna go. We're gonna go down to this says 2,500. Okay. So you're gonna come down about 500 feet. Banking right again. Citation 100 Tango Pop 1000 for 2000 off Ocean County on the left hand turn towards Dixie. Citation 100 Tango Pop on McGuire departure, I dance. Thank you. Too much left, right? A little bit, not much. Just a slow, uh, bring your. Bring the descent up a little bit. Don't don't descend quite so much, so fast. Alright, now you're going back up. Try to keep this needle at right around 300 feet. 300. One, two, three lines. Now you're at you're at six. Diving now, you're a dive bomber. <laughs> Just take control. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. It takes it takes a little getting used to. You too. Now the airport's only about fifteen miles over there. I can see it. I can see it because I know what to look for. That's really only the only reason. You don't even pay mind to that, right? I don't. I don't because I can look at the visual cues outside. Now, let me show you something real quick. This is a, a stall, all right? All right. All right. This is what people get themselves in trouble for. But I showed your sister this the other day, and it really is no big deal if you know how to correct correct from it. All right. All right. So we are full throttle. Now the engine is not going to stall. All right. The, it has nothing to do with the engine. Okay. Pulling back, I'm pulling back. My rate of climb is really high. Look at the w angle of attack of the wings. Look how yeah. nose up we are. You're going to hear the alarm go off. Hear it? Now the plane's going to stop flying. Right now we're still climbing. Hear it? Feel the buffeting? Buffeting, right, buffeting, right, buffeting. Right, right, right. Now we're stalling. Right there. So you lower the nose. Let the airspeed be able to build back up. And you're flying again. You recover from the stall, no sweat. People, people get in a big trouble. They'll pull, they'll pull the power back first, right? Power right. off stalls are even worse because you're going slower to begin with. Uh, All right, now it happens a lot quicker. Let me pull it right back to my nose. That's the full stall. You lower the nose. Oh, let the airspeed build back up. Uh, Juliet, Raider 37 squawk VFR, free to change approved. I show uh, one uh, traffic just north of the airport at 300 feet. Okay, 4 the Green Mike Juliet, just uh, gonna call you. We have the traffic in sight. Airport in sight as well. Roger, squawk VFR. VFR, thank you. See, that's a stall recovery. Really quite simple. You know what I mean? said 300 feet but well, there's, there's another guy in the uh, in the pattern here okay, that's there
somebody out there that knows more than you that you can learn from. Yeah. And there's, there's hundreds of years combined, hundreds of years worth of experience you know, just sitting at the runway right now. Yeah. Hundreds of years of experience. How would you, how stupid would you be if you didn't take advantage of that, you know? Of course. Airport is just off of our uh, nose right here. Right now, you can kind of see it right there. Yeah. I like to fly over it because I can take a look at the uh, wind sock. This is another airstrip. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, Red Lion. Red Lion. Flying W traffic, helicopter, taking active runway 19, flying W. Uh, flying W traffic, uh, Warrior is entering the downwind on the 45 for 19, flying W. Oh, turning left downwind runway 22, Silver. Lakewood traffic, uh, Skyhawk is downwind just to the west of the ball field for runway 24, Lakewood. Car beat on, up is on, lights are on. Your grass right there. All right. I'm gonna turn left and the runway is right in there. Like 
Taken off uh, in the act of 1 9 at Line W. It's about our only hole. Kilo is uh, taken off. We're approaching our crosswind. Very good. Okay, so 4 3 Mike Juliet is turning uh, base for 1 9. That sucked. Right there, it hit. That sucked, but oh well. What's that? Your feet. Yeah. This is pretty much irrelevant now. When there's a real stiff wind, you use them. Use this to so you don't get the plane rolled over, you know. Right. Other than that. in front of us, right? Yeah, yep. Roger, traffic goes skydiving in two minutes over the field. You use caution. 